Hello viewers, hope you all are fine. Once again, welcome to our channel Socio Genius. Friends, in today's video, we will discuss a new chapter that is Development of Transport. In this chapter, we will discuss about the journey of transport from olden age to the modern era. So, let's have a discussion. We have come a long way since the days when animals and sledges were the only means of transport. Purana jamana se leke aaj tak hum log ye jo transport system hai aaj tak ye silsila chala aa raha hai. Lekin difference ye hai ki purana jamane mein log animals and sledges ke upar depend karte hain. So let us talk about the way in which we travel and transport goods today and the things that have made this possible. So uh, we will discuss how this transportation uh, of the olden is uh, vary nowadays, uh, vary from that days. So first we will discuss about roads and vehicles. Wheel to invent means to make something new. Kuch invent karne ka matlab hai, kuch naya banana. So the first big invention in the world of transport was the wheel. First was the wheel which was invented in the world of Transport, uh, transportation. Carts and carriages where wheels made traveling and carrying goods a lot easier and faster. That means after invention of the wheel, it became easier to tra travel or easier for traveling from one place to another or uh, carry things or carts with uh, lots of uh, goods or heavy goods. So even today, all vehicles have two or more wheels. तो ये जो व्हील है इसका डेवलपमेंट होने के बाद अभी बहुत सारे व्हीकल्स है जो आइदर वन और टू और मोर देन टू व्हील से चल रहा है तो मोटर व्हीकल्स इन द बिगनिंग कार्स रन ऑन स्टीम पहले जमाने में कार्स ऑफ स्टीम में चलता था द फर्स्ट ऑफ दीज वर बिल्ड अराउंड 250 इयर्स एगो सो फर्स्ट इट वाज बिल्ड और इन्वेंटेड इन द ईयर 250 इयर्स एगो दे वर हैवी एंड स्लो और उस टाइम में ये जो मोटर व्हीकल था जो वाज वेरी हैवी एंड द मूवमेंट वाज वेरी स्लो देन अराउंड 1885 टू जर्मन्स कार्ल विंस एंड गटलब डालमेर टाइमलर वर्किंग सेपरेटली मेड मोटर कार्स दीज रन ऑन पेट्रोल हैवी व्हीकल्स लाइक ट्रक्स केम ऑन लिटिल लेटर आफ्टर द डीजल डीजल इंजन वाज इन्वेंटेड बाय अनदर जर्मन रॉडलब डीजल so first these two um, uh, scientists or uh, invented the motor car and that was run by petrol then truck was invented and later that um, after that diesel engine was invented by another german that is rudolf diesel so now there are cars that run on electricity and hybrid cars that run on fuel like petrol petrol part of the time and on electricity the rest of the time that means nowadays we are having the cars which runs either on electricity and um, it can run also with the help of petrol. So electric cars and hybrid cars are less polluting than diesel or petrol cars. This car, um, hybrid car hai, wo, iska pollution both kam hai as compared to the uh, previous cars. Then roads. In the early year, days, roads were just tracks made by the movement of people and animals. पहले जमाने में रोड कोई स्पेशल एक उसको बनाता नहीं था। इसे चल चल के लोग चलते थे या एनिमल्स चल चल के वो अपने आप रोड बन जाता था। These tracks were not good enough for the movement of carts and carriages, but it was not good to have the movement on it. And so the vehicles that was at that time were not easily moved on that roads. So people started covering roads with bricks or stones. उसके बाद लोगों के दिमाग में आया कि roads का अगर थोड़ा smooth किया जाए, उसमें कुछ bricks या stones देके उसको smooth किया जाए, then it will be better for the running of vehicles. Later they made metal roads which have a smooth top layer of crossed stones or stone chips held together with tar. So they made a new type of road that we are using now with the help of tar, which is a stick black metal 
material used to build a road and it was metal road made of uh, metal or concrete road this was as as kalam bolte concrete road which was made of um, stones and bricks etc stone chips etc so indian roads india has a long history of roads the cities of the indus valley had roads paved with bricks some of 4500 years ago 4500 years ago in indus valley there was road which was made with bricks many rulers rule, uh, rulers down the is built and maintained roads at that time many rulers were also maintained these roads the greatest of these roads was for us the one built by sersa suri around 250 uh, 450 years ago तो पहले जो रोड बिल्ड किया गया था उसमें मोस्ट फेमस पर्सन हु हैज मेड दिस रोड फर्स्ट टर्म वाज द सेरसा सूरी अराउंड 405 फाइव ईयर्स एगो इट रैन फ्रॉम पेशावर इन पाकिस्तान टू सोनग्राव इन बांग्लादेश तो द प्रेजेंट ग्रांड ट्रंक रोड इज अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस रोड अभी जो हम लोग ग्रांड ट्रंक रोड देख रहे हैं इट इज द पार्ट ऑफ दिस रोड विच वॉज मेड बाय सेरसा सूरी इन पेशावर to uh, that is from in pakistan to uh, bangladesh so today india has one of the largest network of roads in the world pehle zamane ko chhod ke aap abhi right side mein picture dekh sakte hain road kaise smooth ho gaya hai pura ekdam gaadi bhi bahut easily run kar rahe hain to pehle zamane ka road aur abhi ka road mein bahut difference aa chuka hai so india uh, has one of the largest network of roads in the world now बट मोस्ट ऑफ द रोड कनेक्टिंग विलेजेस आर नॉट मेटर लेकिन अभी कुछ कुछ ऐसे भी रोड है जो गाँव से गाँव में कनेक्टेड है और भी बहुत रूरल एरियाज में जो रोड है दैट इज नॉट वेल डेवलप्ड तो बट मोस्ट ऑफ द रोड कनेक्टिंग विलेज आर नॉट मेटर ऑल्सो दे आर नॉट ऑल्सो मेटर दे बिकम मॉडी ड्यूरिंग द रेनी सीजन एंड आर नॉट फिट फॉर हैवी व्हीकल्स गाँव में ज्यादातर जो रोड है वो मॉड से बना होता है तो वो मॉडी रहता है ड्यूरिंग रेनी सीजन बारिश होने से वो फिर से full of mods and it is not um, uh, comfortable for the heavy vehicles to run on that road so this makes it difficult for farmers to to take their crops to the market so ye isse kya hota hai na village mein jo farmer hai for them this road is not uh, suitable for uh, uh, taking the crops to the market for their selling the state capitals and other big cities are connected by the road Uh, broad metal roads called national highways while the big towns of each state are connected with state highways so ye jo picture aap dekh rahe hain this is the picture of highways and uh, in the national uh, that is in uh, state capitals and other big cities are connected with metal roads called national highways and uh, towns and cities are connected with state highways so these are needed for transporting goods over, over long distances and for the development of industries also okay now we'll discuss about the railways so uh, first we have discuss about the roadways then we'll discuss about the railways the railways are track laid out for the movement of carriages and or wagons about 2500 years ago these are stone tracks for the movement of wagons that means in 2500 uh, uh, years ago this has made a uh, stone tracks for the movement of this wagons of carriages The Romans too cut tracks into stones from the movement of uh, wagons but railways as we know them today would not have come into being without the invention of the locomotives which means an engine of a train so uh, so what are locomotives a machine that uses the power of steam to do work is called a steam engine so uh, in this uh, section we'll discuss about the steam engines that is a machine that uses the power of steam to work uh, and this is all known as steam engine many people made steam engines about 300 years ago it is not a new thing it was also invented 300 years ago but the person who made them better and more useful was james watt of scotland it was uh, developed to good by james watt of scotland earlier steam engines were used to pump water and make things in the factories in 1880s steam engines uh, were used to make the first locomotive in england 
a locomotive made by George Stephenson pulled the first public passenger train in the world. Soon, railways started be being laid all over the world. The steam locomotives large gave way to the diesel and electric locomotives also. Then Indian Railways In India, the first train carrying people's steam trim from Mumbai to Thane in 1853. So, the first Indian Railway was started from Mumbai to Thane that is in the year 1853. Soon, railways were laid in other areas and now India has one of the largest railway networks in the world. Almost all part of the country are connected by railways. Abhi railway um, lines or trains are country ke ek part se dusre parts ko jana possible ho sakta hai. So broadly speaking train in India are of two types that is passenger train which carry mainly people and the goods train which carry goods such as uh, grains, ores, coal, uh, cement, fertilizers and also soil, uh, oil. Some trains are slow moving stopping at many stations along the way. They are usually called passenger trains. So, the first, uh, first trains which uh, stop only at some stations are called express trains and uh, they are like uh, Rajdhani Express and Satabdi Express. Then we will discuss about water transport. These are the different uh, transportation systems. So, uh, ores and sails were yearly inventions that uh, speeded up water transport. It is not easy to say when these were first used, but historians have found proof of sails being used at least 7000 years ago. So, in the history shows that this uh, was uh, developed in 7000 years ago. From then until steam were used to drive ships, selling ships and gills, ships driving mainly by rowing remained the only means of crossing the seas. So, at that time, uh, previous time, or olden era, the gales, that means sieves, uh, a picture dekh sakte hai, left side mein, painting, uska gal, uh, gali ka ek painting hai, and that is the sieve that uh, moves according to the directions of the wind, at that time, to cross the sea. Then steam ship, the steam engine led to the development of boats and sieves driven by steam, about 200 years ago. And for about 150 years, steamboats and steam, steam ships were widely used for fishing, transporting goods and passengers and in the war also. During this time, ships went through another changes. change. They started being made of iron and steel because wooden ships caught fire easily during war. So, in the first time, the was wooden ship. Tha, Abhi uska development okay, iron and steel, steel se bhi banta hai because it caught fire easily, wooden, wooden sieves caught fire easily, that's why it changes into iron and steel. After steam sieves came, modern sieves were driven by diesel and other kinds of oils also. Then Indian shipping, India has a long history of shipping. The people of the Indus Valley sent sieves to other countries and had a fine port in Rothal, that means in Gujarat, more than 4000 years ago. After that, many kingdoms down the ages had trade, trade links across the sea. So, trading were also done through, through the sea, sea routes and um, India has the um, history, long history of shipping. After that, many kingdoms, uh, many kingdoms down the ages had uh, trade links across the sea. Some even had uh, net navies for the uh, fighting wars at sea so uh, navies they were uh, uh, also doing the uh, during the war time they also uh, were doing the uh, fightings with, with the uh, enemies now india has many ports which are mostly used for trade with other countries ships used to transport goods because water transport is cheapest and because heavy goods were usually not carried by air so, water transport or shipping is the good means of uh, transportation because uh, this is uh, less cost. That means these are the cheap means of uh, transportation and also heavy goods are easily carried, uh, okay, can be carried uh, through the means of water transport, not by air transport. No one travels by ships anymore except for short trips. For example, 
from Kochi to Lakshadweep Islands or from Kolkata to Andaman Islands. No one travels by sea anymore except for short trips. Short trip, abhi itna long trip uh, distance ke liye sea mein travel karna kisi ko pasand nahi hota hai. Jada tar uh, short trip ke liye log ek jagah se, jaise se Kochi to Lakshadweep Island or from Kolkata, Kolkata to Andaman Island. People are uh, traveling or business are going on. So next we will discuss about the air transport. This is the last means of transportation. That is a gas balloon rises because it is filled with a gas that is lighter than air like hydrogen or hot air. So a gas balloon aap log dekhenge picture mein side mein jo aapka right side mein picture hai gas balloon pehle hum log are the um, eight uh, to seven eight years back I, I am saying that uh, there were gas balloons in the sky we have seen and uh, they were run with the um, help of hydrogen or hot air hot air balloons is ko hum log bolte and these hot air balloons with a basket for carrying people were the earliest means of flying ab dekhiye picture mein chhota sa basket iske niche hai jisme log um, baithte hain aur fly karte hain after balloons come a large uh, large oval gas filled air ships and unlike balloons air ships could be steered but they were not very safe for passengers as they often broke up or caught fire uske baad um, unlike balloons air ships were also developed but they were not safe for the passengers they were not uh, um, they did not give any safety as for the passengers and they also caught fire now only kind of air ship that is used is the blimp for advertisement that means the blimp is a kind of air ship uh, it is also a type of air ship the first aeroplane was made in december in 1903 by two american brothers called orville and wilbur wrights it made it was made of wood and canvas and flew just 120 feet on its first flight so these two uh, american uh, brothers uh, right brothers they invented the uh, first uh, aeroplane and it was uh, about uh, uh, flew just 120 feet uh, height uh, and it was the first flight but four years uh, after this a french called paul Carun Cornu made the first helicopter uh, that is in the after four years, uh, he made a first helicopter. In another 60 years or so, traveling by air become quite common. So nowadays, we are having uh, uh, air transportation, which is a uh, very common way of transportation. People prefer to travel through this means of transportation also. Uh, and the best thing about air transport is, of course, speed. Because uh, people like to move in this uh, way of transportation because they move over very speed and they can reach their destination um, very in a very few time, very short uh, time. So planes carry people, cargo and letters across the world in a matter of hours. Helicopters can go to the places that are difficult to reach like areas hit by flood and landslides. Abhi helicopter mein, uh, ja ke jaha, jo bhi affected area that is flood mein affected areas hai, ya kuch uh, natural disasters mein, jo landslides mein, jo affected area hai, jaha pe easily log pohans nahi sakte, waha pe hum log, through the help of uh, helicopter, we can reach to that, that places. They take food and other supplies for soldiers in battlefields also, and also on the top of the mountains or high mountains. So air travel in India, air travel in is increasing in India. Almost every large city has an airport. India has a number of airlines that run domestic within the country, domestic means that runs within the country and international flight also. So this is all about your chapter that is uh, development uh, of uh, transport. So I think this chapter is clear to you. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. Now we will have uh, to summarize this lesson. So let's have a summary of this lesson. So the first petrol car were made by Carl Bench and uh, Gottlieb Daimler. 
Metal roads are made with the stone chips and tar. The state capitals and other important cities in India are linked by national highways. And uh, the important towns of each states are connected by the state highways. James Watt improved the steam engine. India has one of the largest railway networks in the world. Steam engines led to the development of stone boats and steam ships. Now ships use diesels and other oils also. Today, ships are used mostly for carrying goods. Water transport is the cheapest and suited for heavy goods also. Human first flew uh, on balloons and then in airships. Air transport is first. Helicopters can reach areas hit by floods, landslides, etc. They also take food and other supplies for soldiers in battlefields and high mountains also. So this is the summary of this lesson. Now moving forward, we will discuss about the meaning of some new words and before that I want to say that there are some difficult words of this chapter which are highlighted for you and your task is to learn this. So now let's uh, know the meaning of some new words. First is invent which means make something new. Hybrid made of or using two things for example cars that run on electricity as well as a fuel. Tar means sticky black material used to build roads, concrete, a building material made by mixing cement, sand, stone, chips and water. Galley, a ship that was driven mainly by rowing with sails used when the wind were favorable. Navy, a part or the part of a country's military that fights at sea. Blim means a kind of air sea. So this is all about your chapter and its uh, difficult words meaning. So, if you like this video, then subscribe to our channel. Link to the exercise question answers and the chapter is given in the description below. Thank you for watching.